Hey everyone, this is Grace from Kapwing, and today I'm going to show you how to get the hex color codes from videos and images using a free online tool. A hex color code is basically a unique series of six letters and numbers that perfectly identify a certain shade of color. In my opinion, a color picker is a necessary tool for doing anything design-based, as it allows you to create a united color palette that instantly can make your graphics and any designs look good. Now, the color code identifier tool actually works within an image and video editor, so once you find the color codes, you'll be able to use them to create your graphics without needing to transfer them elsewhere. Let's get into it. Okay, so to get the color code from a video or an image, just go to the first link in the description below, click that, and it'll take you to Kapwing. You can just click get started and then you'll be taken to a space that looks like this. So this is the editor and you can immediately start either uploading your image or video that you want to get the color from or you can even just search Google Images for something that you're looking for. For example, like illustration PNG um, and just select something from here if you're trying to make a graphic or something. So I have an image and a video that I will show you how to get the color from. Um, this is the image. And then I'll also upload the video. Okay, so you can see that it brings both uh, the image and the video onto the canvas. So if I play it, you can see that it's a video. Hey everyone, this is Grace from Kapoi. So to get the color code from either of these things, you can just click the background out here and basically any element in this editor will have something that looks like an eyedropper like this on the right side. So this eyedropper is specifically for the background color which would be the background here. So you can see that if I click this eyedropper, it will open this section. And now anything I move over on this canvas will show up as a color with the hex code on the right side. So when I'm rolling over the image, these are all the different hex codes. And then even with the video, I can identify specific colors. So like rolling over that, it's bright pink and this is dark blue and this is black. So once you figure out what color you're trying to pick, you can just click it and then it will change whatever element the eyedropper was for to that color. So in this case, we were choosing background color. So this is the background color and the hex code is displayed here. You can click this and then also copy and paste this hex code wherever you need to use it. Now, the great thing about this editor is that you can actually edit graphics and vi images, videos, and GIFs all within this. So any element that you add, you can use the color picker. So for example, if I was gonna add text here, I can see that the text color has an eyedropper. So if I click this, I can do the same thing where I pick a uh, color and then it changes the text to that exact color. Something like the text background color also works. So choose that and then it changes the background. And even things like when you add a drop shadow to the text, you can use the eyedropper again and find a color code. Now, another thing, if you already have the color code that you want to use, you can always just click whatever element you're trying to change the color of. So I'm gonna choose text background color and you can just type it right in here as well. So this is one of the colors that I use a lot and it changes it right to that. And again, all of these color pickers work on videos or images. And if you scroll along the video, you can see that as the colors change, you'll also be able to still use the color picker for them. I love the color pickers and this these hex codes in this ed editor because it allows me to make graphics that are united by a color palette and that can automatically make them look well thought through even though it's just a very simple process. So this is my final graphic that I am doing for this example. All the colors fit a lot more with each other than if I had just gone in and chosen a random color out here. It probably would have looked cool too, but when you're trying to get that exact shade, the color chooser and just getting the exact hex code works really well. Once you're in this editor, obviously I've made something with text and images, but you can also add 
subtitles if you're doing videos and other elements like a waveform for audio um, or a progress bar for video. Now, if you're also editing stuff for social media and there's always different sizes on social media, you can change what the canvas size is on this side here. So one to one is like Instagram. This is nine by 16 is more of a phone and then 16 by nine is uh, like YouTube thumbnails. So once you're happy with how your project looks and you want to be able to download it, just click export the red button here. And now just click download to save the actual file to your device. You can always go in to find more color codes by either editing or making a copy or just creating a new project from scratch. And if you wanna share the project that you made uh, with other people, then you can just copy this link and send it to them and they'll be taken right to this page. Thanks for watching this video. If it was helpful, please give it a like and subscribe to our channel for more tips and tricks. Please let us know in the comments if you have any other video ideas for things you want to see on this channel. In the end, we are here to help you be a better creator. So let us know and we will see you in the next video.